What's going on, y'all? This is Chris Saunders, a.k.a. CS Productions 29. You are loved, you are valued, and you are appreciated. Coming straight home from work, I was in the office today. I've been waiting all day for this. I saw yesterday that it was premiering, <clears throat> I believe, last night at midnight, early this morning. And I was like, I'm so excited. I know the world's probably already reacted to this, but it doesn't matter because we're going to get this first listen. So this is one of the key songs when I looked at the mixtape that he's dropping, I believe on the 16th. This is one of the songs I was really honed in on. Like, wow, NF and Hobson are finally collabing. And so I didn't realize that he was going to drop this as a single early. And so we're going to check out Lost by NF featuring Hobson. And a couple things I'm curious about, just because Hobson is a crazy talented, amazing artist that's very, uh, what is it, intro introspective and uh, deep, uh, has a lot of depth to his music most of the time, um, but he also uses a lot of colorful language, <laughs> and NF doesn't. And so I remember seeing uh, Hobson posted a trolling video, as he, he likes to do uh, here and there, as saying how NF was going to be like cursing this and doing all that, but um, just trolling. I'm curious how this song will, will be. So without further ado, I'm going to really try to focus in on this one because I'm, I'm excited. I'm just these two. I believe this is the first time that they're paired up together. And so let's, let's dive into Lost by NF featuring Hobson. Okay. To wear it. Buttoned up, don't like to let no air in with a pair of gloves that I hope doesn't perish. Oh, I discover though when I get holes in Hold them up. and I let joy in, I'm in higher Why spirits. Are My mistakes like are like a screaming eight. parrot, just Whoa. repeating lyrics. I can one? barely bear it when I'm low. Yeah, let's do the 1440. Okay, here we go. Mm. Okay, a couple of things. First of all, we know he makes movies. He doesn't write songs. <laughs> um, he's got his balloons, right? His balloons have always been a trend within his videos. And I believe his balloons have kind of been like his stress, his depression, his baggage, just things that are going on in life. And so help me out if that's not right. But I've noticed, <clears throat> excuse me, He's got his balloons in this video. Loves that self I hope perish. I, I like discovered though when I get so holes in them like, and I let joy in, I'm like in higher like spirits. <laughs> My mistakes are like a screaming up, parrot, like just repeating no lyrics. So I can I'm, barely I'm bear it when I'm lost. lost. I, I know Road I'm is narrow, I'm I looking down it like a gun's barrel. Aren't we all searching for the serum that could help us breathe and leave our state of peril? All of us have made defense. Don't like to let no air in. And then what do you say? With a pair of gloves that I hope doesn't perish. Let's go back five seconds. Mm. Oh, he's just had, well, I'm lost. That's crazy. So he's he's talking about on this game. What do you say uh, with a pair of gloves that I hope doesn't perish? So I discovered though when I get holes in them and I let joy in, I'm in higher spirits. And it just seems like to me it's tying into this just the balloon themes of like kind of his baggage. And he's saying he likes to keep things internal, but when he lets joy in, you know, he's in higher spirits. And my mistakes are like a screaming parrot and is probably up here mentally is what he's talking about. A uh, screaming parrot just repeating lyrics. I can barely bear it when I'm, and then he's saying when I'm lost. Let's go back again. This is, I'm excited. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I'm going to try not to pause it too much, but when he talks about it here, uh, he says, road is narrow. I'm looking down at like a gun's barrel. And so uh, NF, you know, comes from a faith background, I believe is uh, has been vocal about his faith and even things he struggled with, but being a, a Christian and um, the narrow road is, is talked about within uh, the Bible, I believe like narrow is the road that leads to life. And so I think, you know, in my mind, he's one, he's not only talking about using a narrow road. Uh, here, but then also looking down at like a gun's barrel, which often uh, can be 
you know, that's a dangerous situation, right? But then I think he could be referencing, you know, whether it's been suicidal thoughts, stress or depression, where he may have quite literally been looking down a gun's barrel, but then also tying into just the road is narrow, uh, narrow is the road that leads to life and from a biblical reference. And so, and then tying it up here with, um, aren't we all searching for the serum that could help us breathe and leave our state of peril? And so I, it seems like he's tying in a lot of different things there that, that's deep. We all searching for the serum that could help us breathe and leave our state of peril. All of us have made defensive scarecrows that we scatter around our fields and treat like heroes when they scare away the things that we should cherish. Cause we're too embarrassed to admit the fear is that we're lost. Yeah, but what does it matter? I get too combative inside of me is a person who canvas the pain can be flat to get messy when I start to get rattled. The heart of a savage and quiet when I lurk in the shadow. Something on that up. I don't want to be over dramatic, but look at the data. It's obvious that humans are fragile. We tend to get mad at the ones that call us out, but the fact is we need someone that'll be honest when we fly off that handle. I admit I thought we're going to pause there. He said so much there. It, it, it's crazy. I mean, I'll touch on the, the first part where he was talking about the scarecrows. We place all these different scarecrows in our lives where we get defensive. It's like we want to fend off the people, just be defensive about our lives, be closed in and put off this perspective that, you know, we're tough or we're not struggling or things like that. You know, scarecrows are designed to scare off, you know, uh, predators and prey, right, for, for farmers. But then also he mentioned where it's like often we, we scare off the people that we need in our life to help support us or, or get us on the straight path. And then towards the end, he, he talked about uh, where was it being overdramatic? Something don't add up. I don't want to be overdramatic, but look at the data. It's obvious that humans are fragile. And I think, again, he's talking about there just the, the mental health, the suicide rates that have increased. You know, it's obvious that humans are fragile and we need people to support us. Um, then we tend to get mad at the ones that call us out but the fact is we need someone that'll be honest when we fly off the handle and that's where he's talking about i've mentioned it several times on this channel about community we need people that'll speak life into us and are sincere and true and help us get back on track oh man he said so much he, he had a crazy fast flow but don't miss it don't miss it as we tend to get mad at the ones that call us out but the fact is we need someone that'll be honest when we fly off the handle i admit i throw a fit when i begin to unravel keep my wits been off the grid but now i'm back in the saddle mm. my intent is not to rant i like to own what i value i can take you on the fence and maybe pick up the paddle i like to win <laughs> my intent is not to rent i like to own what i value oh man it's crazy i think he's talking about there not only literally what he's saying but then i like to own what i value uh, i'm sure he's uh talking about uh where he talked about community here really he likes to own it own up to the things that he struggles with he that's his his music has been that right uh my intent is not to rent maybe borrow flows borrow ideas uh i'm maybe stretching there but i think that could tie into this, this as well i like to own what i value i like to own and come up with my own things and, and own the things that i value in the saddle, my intent is not to rent. I like to own what I value. I can take you on the fence and maybe pick up the paddle. I like the world against the current, that's the way that I travel. Opposite of what the greatest got the brain of a rebel. Take initiative, I'm diligent on every level. I never can settle. I like to keep my foot in the pedal. Yeah, I love the pack arenas and all. But what I really want to do is learn to handle my thoughts and hey. put the reins on them, show them I'm the one that's the boss. I'm pulling back when they get out of hand, I'm breaking their jaws. I'm taking the flaws. They told me I can never revolve and pull a bane on them. Ask them, oh, you think you're in charge? You ought to know better. Ain't no way around it. Applause the traits that I want. They say I can't afford what it costs, but I. Oh man, I didn't want to stop that flow, but he touched on so many different things. Like, yo, I love to perform to four people, two people. I love to fill arenas. I love to do all these crazy things. But really, man, really, I do. I would just like to be able to control my thoughts. I'd like to control the craziness that's going on over here. And he it just followed it up with bars and lines here, uh, just talking about how he could really like emphasize controlling his thoughts uh, and put the reins on him, show him uh, I'm the one that's the boss and pull them back when they get out of hand. I'm breaking their jaws. I'm taking the flaws. They told me I could never evolve. Then pull a bane on him. <laughs> Ask him, oh, you think you're in charge? Ah, oh, man, just a crazy flowing scheme. Let's uh, let's see where he's going. I to know better. Ain't no way around and applaud the traits that I want. They say I can't afford what it costs, but I, I, I manifested this. Failing's how you grow and learn your oh, lessons, blues. kids. Take the worst and try to make the best of it. Because when you fail, just know that it's a test in it. You can learn to pick yourself back up again and train your brain to not be such a pessimist. It's okay to make mistakes. Just don't forget that there's a high road, but I skip the exit when I'm lost. Yeah. Yo, that was dope. I don't know if you could hear it over the music there, but I was like, 
there are more balloons. Like, is he just going and, and chasing, uh, like, down a bad path or uh, going after more balloons, more stress, more baggage, etc.? cetera? Uh, and, you know, out in the middle of nowhere, he's lost in this treacherous place on a mountaintop. It's freezing. But the balloons uncovered Hobson, and I imagine Hobson's going to go into some of his baggage and things he's struggled with. Oh, that was, that was tight. Oh, that gets me hyped. I'm lost when I'm lost, lost. Wow, these burdens are heavy, and I'm hoping it don't bury me. I used to be joyful and skip so merrily, mm -hmm. but now I'm too cautious and tiptoe carefully. Hey. My mind left, and it's nowhere to be found. Am I a big old parody? Cause it's no fair to me. And now I'm at the point where I'm spinning the grand a week on hypnotherapy. Hey. Look, I'm trying to wash away my sins. I got a group of loved ones that ain't my friends. And if I ever take a nail, then they might grit. And they all want to see me stay in the cage I'm in. So when it come to anybody, there's no trust for no one. Man, so what? My whole plan's to go nuts. My shoulder's ready for most drugs. I'm gonna judge anybody trying to enter my circle with no love. Hold my sanity's gone. I'd rather be torn from this planet. They planted me on your stats and reward. I'm actually bored with having hold up just the whole flow that he is riding this beat while he's uh really just emphasizing the scheme of people have said they've been in in his corner but really they'd smile they'd grin um if he stumbled you know if he stumbled back into his sins i'm not a rapper though <laughs> um but oh man that flow is, is just crazy and he's just talking about you know like uh, he said my shoulders uh ready for more shrugs i'm going to judge anybody trying to enter my circle with no love my sanity's gone. I'd rather be torn from this planet they planned to be on. Just that, oh, the word flow, just the, uh, what is it? A alliteration. Oh, man, that's good. We're going back 10 seconds. Plans to go nuts. My shoulder's ready for most drugs. I'm going to judge anybody trying to enter my circle with no love. Hold my sanity's gone. I'd rather be torn from this planet they planted me on. Your stats a reward. I'm actually bored with having a sore heart. It's torn apart from a family that I don't have anymore. Hey. Now, hold I was living so oblivious with millions. It really was a pity, huh? A pity, huh? It's kind of funny what a penny does mixed in with a mini buzz. I feel stuck. Life got me by the neck with a blade against it. Because I was running late for the train and missed it. The only thing I feel is pain and vengeance. So I'm going to act out like a raging misfit. And every we're going to go back there because he touched on a few things. One, he touched on his family. And uh, I don't know if you know uh, much about Hobson his story, but through really just the ill mind, he's talked about some of the struggles he's had with, with his families and different things dealing there, uh, which was a deep line. But I really thought it was cool. Just the, the pocket where he's talking about, uh, I was living so oblivious with millions. It was really a pity, huh? Uh, it's kind of funny what a penny does mixed in with the mini buzz and just talking about like really just chasing, chasing money as well as uh, you could say drugs, alcohol, et cetera, uh, to get the mini buzz and just how it can change you as a person, as an individual, when you're really just chasing that fame. But then he's talking about uh, just really how he's after doing that really struggling in life life's got me by the neck with the blade against it guess I was running late for the train and missed it uh, we were talking about earlier just how we need community and the people to put us back on track I didn't know there was going to be a train reference but literally I mean that's what he's talking about there uh, I would say um, the only thing I feel is pain and vengeance so I'm gonna act out like a raging misfit um, we're gonna go back this is this is crazy Mini buzz. I feel stuck. Life got me by the neck with a blade against it. Cause I was running late for the train and missed it. The only thing I feel is pain and vengeance. So I'ma act out like a raging misfit. And every verse I lay go stay sadistic. You wanna hate me? Good, great, terrific. You'll never see the day when my anger's dismissed. You better go and change your wish list. Cause I yeah, manifested this. Do not treat me like some adolescent kid. Hey. I am praying to the Lord with the book of chains. Hoping he go at my testament. Hey. This dark cloud, that's my residence. Demons knocking, I don't have to let him in. I done made mistakes. Day to day, you probably can't relate. I just ain't the same when I'm lost. That was crazy. That was t just dope with both of them. I mean, talking on... Uh, several things. I mean, even Hobson's been vocal. I don't know where he's at now, but over the past few years, I know he's had different struggles or gone through different journeys. And I, I know he released a video a couple months ago, I believe, where he's saying like he's mentally in a great state. And so he's going to produce uh, or release some music. So don't worry, because uh, a lot of the music that he came out was when he was really struggling mentally uh, over the past couple of years when he went to, I left, I think he went to Thailand. Um, but I know even in he, five, six, seven years ago, he's talked about, you know, his challenges with uh, really faith, religion, Christianity, et cetera, God. But when he talks about here, just like, don't treat me uh, like someone adolescent kid. I'm praying to the Lord with the book of James, uh, hoping he going to add my testament. That's a dope line. And I think even particularly with the, the book of James, just some of the, the topics there, which is like uh, faith and deeds, uh, just like taming the tongue uh, is a, a 
uh, really key topic, submitting, submitting to God, your life to God and, you know, not doing de- deeds to really like earn God's approval. But by following God, you uh, end up um, doing good deeds. Right. And then also just like so many different uh, things within the book of uh, James, what is it also, I mentioned Timothy the Tongue as well, it's just like really perseverance through trials as well. And so when he's talking about here within, you know, I'm praying to the Lord with the book of James, hoping he going to add my testament, I think, you know, Hobson's deep. And so I think he's clearly obviously referencing some of those key topics, I would say within the book of James, but then also here saying like, add my story to it as well on this journey that I'm uh, going through. And so, and then he talks about uh, this dark cloud that's my residence demons knocking. I don't have to let him in. Um, something that's talked about within the Bible as well. Um, I done made mistakes day to day. You probably can't relate. I just ain't the same when I'm lost. And so, oh man, just, this is so good. <laughs> I don't have to let him in. I done made mistakes day to day. You probably can't relate. I just ain't the same when I'm lost. Yeah. When I'm lost. More balloons. When I'm lost, when I'm lost, lost. Uh oh. It's like there are bodies everywhere. I guess. That's what I'm saying. If where there were balloons, there was Hobson, then it's like, and that last shot, all those different balloons, there are bodies buried everywhere where people are buried in their thoughts, they're lost struggling with um mental just things going on mentally um depression just life the challenges in life that happen and just need a great community to surround you with and just put you right on back on track through the challenges just we weren't made to be alone we weren't made to go through life uh and to be alone so Oh man, I, I'm so excited for this song. I'm so excited for this mixtape. Just uh, what a great song. And I guess to answer the question, uh, I, I could have missed it. I don't think so because I, I had the lyrics pulled up in front of me as well, but Hobson didn't use colorful language. And so uh, I guess NF and him probably, NF was probably like, hey, brother, I want to do this song. I know you said you want to do this song as, uh, together as well, but we got to we, we got to keep it, you know, no colorful language. So <laughs> looks like he did that. And I'm going to listen to that again. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. What were some of the key lines and, um, and, and thoughts? Did you think I was on point with some of those things? Uh, wasn't trying to stop it a lot, but it was just, hey, uh, breaking it down. And there are just so many awesome things. Uh, but let me know what you thought in the comment section down below with some of the key lines. If there are some things I missed. I know when I go back to edit this video, there are going to be some things where I'm like, oh, yeah, no, that was that was a dope line. That was hard. I, I missed that or it came late. And so. Uh, just overall, just a great song. That's Lost by NF featuring Hobson. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video in the future. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.